Anybody home? <laughs> oh, good. Well, that means I can uh, take advantage of you without worrying about corrupting Bill's morals. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I just have to check the machine, okay? All right, well, hurry up. Why they wouldn't let us go up with him or wherever it is they took him and want to hold his hand and want him to know that we love him. Alex, I want to go home. If you All get right. me a waiver, Alex. I'll sign myself. You know, Alex, Alex, you did this. My son may die because of what you did, and I'll be killing you. Come on, come on, come on. In your anger, I've come okay. close to losing my son. Well, I don't want your sympathy, Ellen. I want your head on a platter. I want you to suffer the way Shane has. It's not his fault that... Shut up, Amanda! If you were a decent mother, you'd have been with your children instead of singing protest songs in a... Gym. Amanda, please! Shane is in surgery. Because of you, Ellen, and your stupid pride. It wasn't enough that you punished me. You had to go after Buzz, too, and all the rest of the people on Fifth Street. Now you're taking out children. What's the deal, Ellen? If Shane dies, we're even. Is that it? Or do you want to put me through more than that, too? You want me to leave Buzz? You want to sleep with me? Is that what it is? Is that what you want, Alan? Reva, Tell me! Reva, stop it. I never wanted this to happen. The only thing that's important to me is that Shane is all right. You've got to believe me. Well, then you better pray to God. I doubt whether he listens to you, but you better pray that Shane lives and you die, because that's the only way we'll ever... It's be. time. It's time to go home. That's enough. That's enough. Come on. You should be leaving Alan. here in a body bag, Alan. It's okay. It's okay. I want you dead. Do you hear me? I want sit you down. dead. Sit down. It's okay. It's okay. It's all Was he like before what? I think I tripped. I don't believe you. I just tripped. I'm so clumsy and these shoes are so awful. What about the test that the doctor said that you should take? Did you go yet? No. Medicine can't cure. You didn't go Terminal. and take the test yet. I thought we agreed that you were going to do that. I will, I promise. Well, as for you being a klutz, I guess that means I'm just going to have to carry you everywhere we go. That sounds okay to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you think... That what I told Bridget was the truth and I was lying to you? That I, that I was using you the whole time? Is that what you think? Well, were you? Hmm? I mean, if these last few months have been all about Roger and not about... About... about what, Dinah? If you have just been using me to stick it to Roger, just tell me. Where do you get this from? Huh? I mean... Did that kiss mean nothing to you? I'm a big girl. 
You know that? And I know that sex doesn't have to mean anything more than sex. I've been there, and I've done that. Ah. What we've done in our past is not important anymore. Really? I don't think so. You have a kid with Bridget. So? So maybe you're just gonna, you know, start a life with, with your son and his mother. And that would be just fine. I mean, I would be fine and dandy with me. You just have to tell me, you know, so that I can get on with my life and get out of yours. You, you know, you are really something. I know I'm something. <clears throat> and I can take care of myself. See, I know you can take care of yourself. But I, but I got this thing about keeping you safe. And as far as Bridget's concerned, she's a good person and she's a great mother to my son, Peter. But that is it. Now, I told her those things to keep you safe. You heard what the judge said. If he finds out we conspired against my father, we're both going to jail. We're not going to pass go. Is that really why you said it? Is this a lie, Dinah? It wasn't Shakespeare. It wasn't. It was one of those other people, those Cavalier poets or something. Yeah, well, whoever it was, he had the right idea. I mean, because that's the way I feel, too. When I'm making love to you, it's... It's more than just making love. And when I'm not with you, I'm... I'm always thinking about you. Still? Yeah, still. No matter what I'm doing, I'm always... Thinking about you. So lucky. I care for you every day. Yeah. I used to wonder if heaven really existed. And then I met you, and I know that it does. And if we're both really good, maybe this is just a taste of what's yet to come. <laughs> Eternity in your arms? I'll take it. Yeah, well, heaven can wait. But I can't. Sudden desire to feed the ducks. <laughs> yes, of course I followed you. What are you doing? Oh. All hell breaks loose back there, and you decide to run a marathon. Yeah, well, you know, I need 
Some air. I needed some air. You need some air? I think you could have found a better place in the public park alone at night. <laughs> Look, none of my business. You don't want to talk about it. That's fine, but... It's obvious that you're upset about Reva and Josh. No, that's not true. Well, is that why you look like you're going to keel over every time yeah. Reva's within 50 feet of John? You know, the only person who makes me keel over is you. You know, every time I see you, you knock me down. No, I haven't knocked you down in some time. You, do, do you really think that there's something going on between Reva and John? What is it with you, Philip Spaulding? Rick never told me you were like a dog with a bone. No, no I just think that if you, you, you know, you got something you need to spill, and if you don't, you're going to explode. And I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm here. I don't think that something's going on with Josh and Reva. I know it. There is, and there always will be. <sighs> Alan, why don't you let me get to I'm fine, now? Alex. I'm fine. <sighs> Reva, our son needs us now more than ever. Focus on him. Focus on Shane, not on Alan Spaulding. You can't tell me what to do, Joshua. Not I'm anymore. Not... I'm not your wife. I can feel any way I want to about anyone I want to. And if you don't like it, and obviously you don't, then just stay away Reba, from me. I... Forget it. I don't know why I bother. It's a good question, Joshua. <laughs> why do you? Can I help? Wife of mine? Help from you, Buzz. Always. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go. Ben. Raymond. Yes, turn over. Come on. Let's get out. Oh, no, come on. Hey, there. Come on. Come on. Well, well, well. Oh, Who have you we have here? Excuse us. us. The man is hurt. Please. Just a moment. Springfield won't forget what you've done, Spaulding. I won't let them. You're Shane Lewis's mother. Could you tell us what happened to your son? Wait, and wait, how do you feel on, about Alan Spaulding? Slow, because... slow down. Don't, don't, don't do this, Reva, okay? This is a family matter. Let's keep it that way. Listen, listen to me just a second. Josh married you, okay? And he did it when he knew that Reva was still alive. Now, that has to tell you something. Philip, this is my problem, and I'll deal with it. Oh, okay. All right. You tear your hair out over it? Go ahead. I'm trying to help. How would you understand, anyway? Rick said that you were always tops in everything that you did. Do you know what it was like to be second best? Second place. So you think Josh settled for you? Yeah, that's right. I got Josh by default. No, you didn't. How do you know? Because I know Josh and Reva. I grew up here. I grew up watching them do their routine. It was the best show in town. So I've heard. The point is, if they wanted to be together, Annie, they'd be together. Nothing would stop them. Nothing except their kids. What? Reva walked away from Josh because of Mar and Shane. She thought oh. it was best for them. Annie. She didn't want to hurt them. Those kids love me. You are really So she married reaching. Buzz to convince Josh that she didn't love him anymore. And once Josh figured out that he couldn't have Reva, he married me. You, you got this all figured out, don't you? See, I knew Josh loved Reva when I married him. But I love him. I love him more than words can say. I don't want my marriage to be second best, Philip. Is it too much to ask for someone to love me for myself? Shouldn't be. You couldn't control me when we were growing up no. or when we were married. What makes you think you can control me now, Josh? I'm not trying to control you. I'm just trying to get you to, to, to look at this thing. No. I don't want to turn on the news tomorrow and find out that Alan has painted our boy as some wild kid who went looking for trouble and got what he deserved because you know that's what he's going to do. You know that. He wants to talk to the press letter. You know? He wants to be. You know what? He's. You want to do that? You you do whatever you want. That, that's all you ever do anyway. I'll tell you. I, I'm going to call Mara. I'm going to tell her what's happening. Excuse me. Joshua. What? Invigorate. 
Looking forward to putting a spin on today's. Tell Mara I love her, and, and then I'll Dr. call her as soon as I can. Shane Lewis's family for being lax. Or the fire marshal for not checking and, the building. Invited. Or the Fifth Street Coalition for stirring up trouble in the first place. Uh, Joshua. You mark my words. Alan Spall. Thank you. Tried to paint himself a victim. But he's not. Shane Lewis is. If this innocent child dies, I'll demand that Alan okay. Spalding be indicted. Yeah, I, I will be as soon as I can stand up for my little boy. Will you wait here while I uh, go give those reporters a piece of my mind? I love you, Buzz. Did okay. I'll give him back. Okay. I've made up my mind, and, I, and I'd like to uh, answer any questions you might have about Alan Spalding or my little boy. Thank you, Riva. You won't be sorry. That damn Griffin Williams. Where does he get off showing up at Cedars Hospital with an entire TV crew? Talk about exploiting people's suffering and turning it to his own advantage. Well, you should know, dear. What are you babbling about, Alex? You're the one who invited the press to cover our home being <coughs> overrun by the lawless masses from Fifth Street because it was to your advantage. I dare say Griffin Williams was at Cedars for the very same reason. Thank you for your keen observation, Alex. No wonder I love you so much. Well, somebody has to tell you the truth. Little Miss Madam doesn't seem to be up to the task here. Good night, darling. Don't forget to take your antibiotics, see off that leg, because we don't want that wound opening up, do we? Good night, Alex. Thank you so much for your help. Any time, brother dear. Amanda, I want to be alone. Okay, okay. Good night. You know, Father, when you were stuck in that building today, I was so scared. I, I just wanted you to get out alive and well. And I wish that I could have been in there with my brothers just to prove to you how much I love you. Believe it or not, Father, I honestly love you and i just wish i wish that you felt the same good night amanda Yes, I need to speak with you as soon as possible. Tonight? Good, I'll be waiting. There, the sooner I get my money, right? All right. It's beautiful down there. Have you ever been? Me? No. But I do hear it's very nice. Nice? Uh, it's better than nice. It's just beautiful. White, white sand and palm trees. Night breezes. And they have the bluest water in the world. And they have these special little coves where you can go swimming in the nude. That sounds great. Mm. Maybe someday I'll get to go there. Yeah, maybe someday. Well, I have to get going. What's your rush? 
Well, I thought we both agreed that this was risky to be here together. Yeah, but it's already so late. Why don't you just come back to bed? I can't. I have to pack. There's nothing I can say to convince you otherwise? No, but you can button my shirt for me. <laughs> I think I can do this. You got it? That's good. That's good enough. All right, I'll call you later. Dine away. I want you to be careful, okay? I saw Josh and Reva on Fifth Street after the building came down, okay? And I saw them again at Cedars, and I'm telling you the honest truth. They don't strike me as being a couple of star-crossed lovers that are dying to get back together. They are, they're just a couple of parents that are worried sick about their kid. There's a pull there, Philip. Well, I can feel of it. Of course there's a pull there. You can't have a child with somebody and not be bonded. That's forever. Look. My wife and I have a little daughter named Lizzie, and I guarantee you, if something ever happened in our relationship, it wouldn't change how we feel about her. If she had a problem, we would be there for her together. That, that's just the way it is. That's the way parents and kids are. Philip, right there, you made my point for me. What? There's nothing that Josh wouldn't do for those kids. Oh. Reva, too. I am telling you, that is why oh. Reva walked away from Josh. If, if she didn't, they'd be married right now. You know... I'm, I'm a lot more convincing than this. No. It's not you. It's me. See, what I saw tonight, it wasn't the first time. And it's not gonna be the last. I am losing Josh, and I don't know what to do about it. I'll tell you what you do about it. You forget about all this nonsense, you go back to Cedars, and you get on with the business of your life with no doubts, no fears, and no regrets. I can't. You know what? Maybe I'm confusing you with somebody. Because I'm... I'm thinking about a nurse who deals with real problems and real pain every single day. Somebody that was strong enough to pull herself out of the bottle and who today fought like hell to save the life of a little boy that she loves. That's my speech. Look, Annie, I, I don't know you very well, but you don't strike me as being a quitter. But I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You tell me. I mean, I'm having one of those nights, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. Actually, yeah, everything's really great. I'm leaving tomorrow to go to the Caymans to um, get my money back. So soon? Yeah. Well, we beat him. You know, we beat Roger at his own game, so now Grandfather can rest easy. Are you going to go to the Caymans alone? Yeah. I'll be all right. Okay. Okay. Anything happened today? No. I'll see you in the morning. Okay. 
If you want to talk about anything, I'm here. You know, Mother, I'm not okay. I'm, I lied. I know sometimes I act like I can take on the world, but I can't. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm scared, and I'm just really, totally, completely confused. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? Is it a ro Roger? I mean, you're not still... No, 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 no. It's not Roger. Roger's a piece of cake compared to this. This is... I don't know. This is just... I don't even know what it is. It's just I know this sounds stupid. No. No, nothing that you have said sounds stupid. <laughs> I haven't even said anything. I... I'm in love. And I'm not sure what to do about it, because I know from my own experience that men can make love to you and not be in love with you. And in my particular situation right now, I just don't... I just don't... I just don't know. You know? Well... What I think is that... No matter what, it's a wonderful thing to love somebody. Yeah. If they love you back. Look, it stinks that I lied to you, okay? But I did it for Dinah, and I'm not sorry. You heard what the judge said about perjury. Lying is the least of your problems. Dinah thinks that she's God's gift to men. Dinah is my gift, period. Okay? I don't care what anybody says. I love her. And I'm not gonna let anything happen to her, especially now. Get your jollies while you can, Hart. Because when Judge Huffman gets wind of what's going on between the two of you, you're going to be in big trouble. Oh, and how is Judge Huffman going to find anything out, huh? Unless you plan on saying something. I was going to tell Judge Huffman anything. Oh, but that's what it sounded like to me. I don't want Peter to have to visit you in jail. Then what's the problem? You lied to me. Why don't you let your little girlfriend go off to the Cayman Islands and stay there for a while? It'd be safer for both of you. If I could come across the two of you today, don't you think anybody could? So maybe even someone who doesn't like you so much? I mean, you are my baby's father. Is that all it really is? Hart, get over yourself. I got over you a long time ago. You're Peter's father. And you're gonna be for a long time. So it's better for him if we can just get along. I'm glad I could trust you, Bridget. And Dinah will be too. <sighs> So, I guess what I'm looking for here is uh, some words of wisdom. Yeah, maybe you can tell me what to do. I don't think you need me to tell you what to do. But I do. I mean, normally I, I know what to do, but I'm just... I'm completely confused about what it means now. I mean, what it is to, to be loved by somebody that you love. different for everybody, but it certainly is an experience that I would want you to have. I love this guy, Mother, but I, uh, I'm not sure that he feels the same way, you know, and so I'm, I'm just afraid. I, I'm just afraid I'm going to make a fool out of myself. It's not the worst thing that could happen. It's not nearly as bad as never taking a chance. Matt taught me that. He did? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, um... I'd spent such a long time being proper and respectable and, and just never taking a chance that I'd put myself firmly in prison and and then when I met him and fell in love with him 
I was afraid, very afraid, to take a chance. But I did. And everything changed. And I just thank the universe that, that it all happened. But Matt loves you, you know? Well, you know, you know that he loves you. And I, I, I don't know that, and I'm, I'm afraid if I, if I take a chance that I'm gonna fall right on my face. I just wish that I knew, you know? I wish what I... Sweetheart, Dinah, you may not get the chance to know beforehand. I'm just so crazy about him. I just... I mean, I felt like I, I've been in love before, I guess, but this is different. He's different. Everything about it feels different. When he walks into a room, I stop breathing. I mean, I literally stop breathing. It's just crazy. Mm -mm. No, it's not. You know who I'm talking about, right? And you know who his father is, and you know what everyone says about him. Yeah, I know. But does it make any difference to you? what people say about him? No. No, not at all. Yeah, well, okay. Donna, just go to heart and tell him what you feel. Just do that. I can't imagine anybody not loving you. I shouldn't. Oh, go ahead. It'll help you relax after what's obviously been a very stressful day for you. It's been hell. Well, I must tell you, you that I feel partly responsible, Vivian. I don't know how. Well, your work for Advantage System has been invaluable. And if I've... If our arrangement together has created some hot water with you and your family, I want to make things right for you. There's nothing you can do. It's a hopeless situation. So, there is a problem. It's not your fault. It's Griffin's. Of course. He feels you betrayed him. Excuse me? He feels you broke rank with your people to invest with me. Griffin doesn't care about our people as much as he cares about himself. I'm shocked. So few people know the real Griffin Williams as I do. He makes himself up to be this paragon of truth and virtue when he's anything but. He uses people and throws them away. I know men like that. He's the lowest of the low. He betrayed me and destroyed my family. Well, no wonder you're so upset, Vivian. If the world knew the Griffin Williams I do, he'd be ruined overnight. Really? Well, do tell me more. Thanks again for the respectful way in which you've interviewed yet another victim of Alan Spaulding's greed. I just hope your viewers will see him as the opportunistic, money-grabbing swine that he is. Did I do okay? You did great. And when Shane grows up and finds out his mama fought the evil Spaulding empire because they hurt her little boy, he's gonna give you the biggest hug you ever saw. He's going to make a promise not to tell his friends, and he's going to ask for the keys to the rocket ship. I hope so. I know so. Annie. Hi. I've been looking for you. I'm sorry. I just stepped out to get some air. Um, don't be mad at me, okay? I'm not mad at you. I love you. Is the operation over? Is Shane okay? I'm still waiting for you. Doctor. Mm. Yeah. Doctor. Mm. About your son. Your son came through surgery very well. <sighs> He had a lacerated liver, but we stopped the bleeding in time. I expect he'll make a full recovery. You have a 
a big day ahead of you, and I, I think you should get some rest. Yeah, I'll be up in a minute. I think I, um, I'm just gonna sit down here in the dark and think for a while. Oh, boy. You really are in love. I know, I told you I was. Sweet dreams, sweetheart. You too. Mom? Do you realize that we just had our um, first official mother-daughter talk ever? Yes. Well, we should have taken a picture or something. We should have put it on videotape. <laughs> I have it all right here. personality. 